Hi, welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. Today I'm here with Steve, as always, on the couch, and uh, we're here to do a squad reaction to the provisional squad yeah. that Martin O'Neill has picked. And it is it's as follows. And Steve's not happy with him. <laughs> so, keepers uh, Randolph, Steve. Westwood, um, Elias, and Doyle. Defenders Matt Doherty, Cyrus Christie, Paul McShane, Richard Kyo, Shane Duffy, Kieran Clark, Kevin Long, John O'Shea, and Stephen Ward. Midfielders, Alan Brown, Ben Whelan, Connor Hurlin, Harry Arthur, James McCarthy, James Hend uh, sorry, Jeff Hendrick, David Mo David Moyler, uh, Ewan O'Kane, Wezzo, Aidan McGeady, Kevin Brady, or Kevin Brady. Robbie, Robbie, Robbie Brady, Brady. Uh, <laughs> Callum O'Dowda, Johnny Hayes, uh, James McLean, and then Shane Long, uh, these are strikers, Shane Long, Darren Murphy, David McGoldrick, Sean McGord, um, Hogan, and O'Brien. Yeah. So, where do we begin? Um, I, I guess we'll start with the goalkeepers and let it simmer for another minute or two longer. Um, goalkeepers, there's not much to say on it. It's the, it's the four, uh, that's what he trusts. At and, he, and he's gone with the whole, the whole qualifying. Yeah. So, you can't really argue too much in regards to that. Again, I don't see any point in removing Randolph from that from that team in regards anyway. We'll get to that later on. We'll do the preview and stuff like that. No, I've come with like and even I've come around to Randolph after the Wales game that at the minute he doesn't deserve to not be in the team. So Yeah. You know, he's kinda of set as number one and then you've got Westwood and Elliot. But he's here. settled with that defence. Yeah. You know so And you got Westwood and Elliot there now as well, who are his backups and they're about able if Randolph was to go down with an injury that if either of them came in, you'd be like, that's all right. Yeah. We miss you, Shay. No, we miss Shay pre-2012. We, yeah. we miss that Shay, given. <laughs> He's a good man. Yeah. Sound as. We miss him as a man. Let's put it that yeah. way. Uh, right backs, then, um, obviously... Well, his book's very good, by the way. <laughs> I'm halfway through it already. Oh, good. Uh, right backs, then we got Christy and Doherty. Yeah, and you're obviously very happy because you've, you've been calling out for uh, Doherty now for a while. Yeah. To be in that team. So, um, it's, how, how are you feeling about that? As I said, I, I said I know it's, it's only provisional. I said it to you earlier. Yeah, it's if he makes the final twenty three and he does actually go with two right backs there, I think it's the best thing for Cyrus Christie more so than Netting because he is someone then even in the lead up to the games and training during the week pushing him and informing. He's probably a deal better than him. yeah. He is. League, he probably, league position. He's probably a better player than Cyrus Christie. That's the thing. But Christie was brought into the squad First. before Darty was and. We've seen what O'Neill does with players he's brought into the squad before. He'll just keep bringing them back in again. <laughs> yeah. Um, which leads us on to. Well, it's, an, <laughs> it's, it's it's interesting in a way because now we can see, you know, if he's training with him regularly, he'd see, you know, if he's better than not. I know, he, he he's he's stubborn in his way, O'Neill, but yeah, you know, I I'm sure he's got a plan there. But the problem is, Darty Darty very rarely even gets to make the trip over. He always gets cut from the squad before they even come up and you know meet as a squad. Yeah. So he hasn't really had that much of a look at him. I know he's been around the squad for the summer games and stuff like that a couple of times. Um, especially two years ago when we went to America and stuff, he was around the squad then. Yeah. Um, but then you know he doesn't come in for any of the qualifiers. So you don't see him. And if Christie was to get injured, suddenly you're either putting Darty in completely cold, who hasn't really been around the squad that much. Or you're right. moving a mile out to right back or something. Well, Myler can't play. Yeah. So the first game. So I think that's what he's thinking of. He, I think, yeah. You know, I was thinking, oh, maybe I can throw more there. Or maybe he's thinking he might move McCarthy there, but then you've got no one in midfield. So yeah, it's a kind of catch twenty two there. So you're kind of like, um, you know. yeah, you need to have someone there. Yeah, I think it's a good decision um, to bring him along, have a look at him, and, and I young. would want him in there, uh, yeah. just as backup, because you know. What's the point of taking someone like Richard Kill? Yeah, what's the point of carrying so many central defenders? Like, I think <coughs> we'll go on to them now. Like, Richard Kill's done a good job. It's yeah. Time, but I think it's time to come down there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think <laughs> you bring, yeah. Um, I think you bring, you know, any other squad, really, in world football in terms of a international squad. When they have a 23, they tend to carry four central defenders. Yeah. Whereas we tend to carry about six. six yeah. Um, even in like a 23, which is just not serviceable. If you have, he's going to bring John O'Shea in a final 23. Yeah. Um, for like these but two games. But you can see why. Yeah, he's With there. With the experience and everything like that. And it, 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 you do, in these games, you need an experienced head around the dressing room. Yeah. 
and giving the lads a, 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 and look a, if you do have an injury crisis on. I'd rather as stupid as it might sound because he's playing for a relegation threatened club in Sunderland and everything like that but I'd rather have John O'Shea come in in a last resort scenario than Richard Kell yeah. because John O'Shea knows how to play at this level has known how to play at this level for nearly 15 years now he's still got that nails about him and you can still get 90 minutes out of him if you really needed to yeah. Um, and then you obviously have Clark Duffy and then Kevin Long are your three other than that them three have to be in that last squad and then yeah, you're probably no, I totally agree with you there in the central defender situation yeah the only thing that troubles me now is well, it's gone <laughs> no no you go on uh, well <laughs> obviously look I, I really rate Stephen Ward I think he's really yeah. improved over the last three seasons I think Sean Dyche has made him a better player yeah. in all aspects of the game but going forward his crossing everything like he's improved dramatically um, and then your uh, your buddy and Stevens, uh, yeah. he, he must be thinking like, what what else can I do? Paul McShane's getting in there ahead of me, and Richard Kyo, and he's how many assists he got? Seven, eight. I think seven or eight in all competitions this year for Sheffield United. And, like, and was I think the top assist there in League Two last season from left back. I know it's League Two, but we're also calling up goalkeepers who are in League One. Yeah, so it's not as if we're adverse to looking yeah, at players who are now in he's at the top of the championship yeah. and he's getting assists galore so yeah. it doesn't really matter if, if it was last year but he's still doing it this year you know? and Sheffield United have one of the best defences in the championship as well which is a bit overlooked him he's a good defender Yeah, that's thing he's not just this attacking wing back where he's playing in a 3-5-2 and he plays left wing back for Portsmouth for two years he played left back he didn't play as a wing back he played left back in a four we so, started a campaign well we started a campaign I think we probably be short at this point because if Paul McShane, who is still being called up for some reason, what we when, call it? well, what we call it? justice for Enda. Hashtag, hashtag yeah. justice, hashtag for, justice Enda, for Enda. Enda. <laughs> um, <laughs> because I'm not saying I'm not saying Enda should come into the squad and usurp Stephen Ward and be the starting left back or anything like that. But it should be in there, give him a kick up the ass. Yeah, if needed. Well, like, is, he hasn't needed so far, but like yeah. Christy and the other side. There is competition, and there I is you. you need a player. Stephen Ward's in his thirties. You need a lad, and Ender's not a young lad either. Ender's in his what? He's twenty seven now. So, yeah, but you still get two campaigns out of him, at the very least, of him being a good player. And you're missing out on that. And if Ward was to get a long term injury, well, as I've said 30. before, you're going to sacrifice Robbie Brady then from attacking positions because you're going to have to play him at left back. That just doesn't make I think sense. that's what he'll do if worst case scenario comes to it, which is disappointing. Yeah, and look, Doherty can play left back as well. Doherty used to play left back for Wolves before mm-hmm. Nuno Espirito Santo came. Some Philip Lamb, is he? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's as well as the defenders is, is one of the main talking points, and then obviously the midfield. I but just, I can't. I just quickly, but if Paul McShane ever, after these two, if Paul McShane ever gets called up for an Ireland squad again, I think I might actually just boycott the videos and the games. Because what's the point anymore? He's he's in his thirties playing for a struggling championship club. Yeah, but they almost got promoted last season. In fairness. Yeah, but look at what's happened to them this year. Yeah, and they hemorrhage goals as well. Well, look, I, I, I'm not campaigning for McShane to be in there. <laughs> yeah. um, like I would be campaigning. I'll, I'll join the just hashtag justice for Emma. Hashtag justice for Emma. Okay, well, well <laughs> get that get that trend. Yeah, get trending. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be went to the midfield. I'm getting tags off. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, well, if anything, it's going to get abused. Might, abused might, it's going to abuse his chances. He maybe. might like a couple of weeks off. Who knows? Well, maybe we'll see. Uh, midfield. There's a couple few surprise inclusions, but nothing ever real. You know, it's quite similar to the last squad. Yeah, the in in on a whole. I think anyone that gets in in is going to be, you know. In the yeah. same midfield. I think we can probably except for McCarthy would probably make the cut. Yeah. Oh, I he made the cut last time. He just didn't play. Yeah. He went. He, he trained and then left. Yeah. I think we could probably pick what the midfield players who are going to be in the twenty three will be. Mm. Uh, realistically, so you know you're kind of just looking at your young no and stuff like that again. Going right, lads. Well, cheers for being a name on paper, but we won't Thanks actually be seeing you. Yeah. Um. But. I don't know, I think he's just he's gone with what he trusts at this stage and he was always going to go that way. He was never going to throw in many curveballs. He did that with the last squad of bringing in Hogan and bringing in O'Brien and um, bringing in Maguire as well. That he brought these lads in and that's they were the last real wild cards we were going to get. Obviously, Doherty's come in now, but I think he sees the necessity for Matt Doherty to be 
at least named in this again and probably make the 23, I would say, with Myler being out for the first game, yeah. uh, that you need someone to cover right back. And he can also cover left back, which is important. I think if you're only carrying three full backs um, in your final squad, you may as well take him. May as well take him as the yeah. backup to, for both sides. Exactly. Because uh, if anything does happen to Wardy during training, or anything, yeah, you need and you don't want to move, especially in the second leg. Imagine Ward gets injured in the first leg. And pushes Brady back. Yeah, and you have to push Brady back, ball. especially if you're losing. Yeah. You, like Brady needs to be in an attacking position in that or at that stage and then you're really really struggling for a left back then you're probably you know maybe sticking John O'Shea out there or Karen Clark and that's the thing you don't want Clark like Clark you don't want him out there like, you've seen him against Wales he was a bit you know suspect yeah uh, just leave him centre half leave him where he's familiar hopefully it doesn't come to that we're, we're speaking hypothetically here so yeah but I think when you're talking about the squad you have to look at those scenarios you have to look at yeah no no I gonna, totally yeah, yeah of course um, and then centre midfield, obviously, I think we both very much said that James McCarthy should come in. Um, with Myler being out, obviously some people will disagree, but... James look at, don't look, watch football. Yeah, but look at the squad. Look at the squad for everyone. Look yeah, but squad. like for like. It's, it's bang. He came in last night for everything, and he, he'd never been away. Yeah. He was just flying in, winning the ball con- yeah. constantly. Uh, I know people are going to argue with me, but I don't really care. Um they, they, I just don't think they've watched him enough and they just look for a scapegoat someone to blame yeah. when things go wrong like people were blaming them and you know who you are were blaming him for Griezmann's goals yeah he's not the centre half though that's what I'm saying <laughs> yeah so he's clearly meant to pick up midfielders not pick up strikers but that's for a different day yeah but McCarthy is our best central defensive midfielder rather. I think people took me up wrong when I said midfielder I think they were taking you know, McLean and all these yeah I think a few people said that to me as well it's not it's McLean and like McLean and Brady and I, stuff I, like that wingers for yeah. me that's what I meant yeah they're forward players realistically yeah. but that's that's the way I was saying it. Yeah. so if you thought I meant by midfielders that's not what I meant but no. I meant by centre midfield um, you all know our yeah. undying love for James McLean so yeah, we're not going to put McCarthy ahead of him don't worry that'll never happen <laughs> yeah, so I mean, excuse my bias. Yeah, but anyway, um, McCarthy, he he's the one in big games who can mark out a big player. Yeah, and we need Ericsson marked out of the game. Yeah, and who's gonna do it better than him? Yeah, no, no one in our squad. No, Whelan's not gonna have the pace to cover Ericsson. Uh, Whelan's a good player that if we are getting a result in Copenhagen or we're of holding on to something in Dublin that you bring Whelan off the bench for 20-25 minutes to go because we are going to 15 if, if we're ahead he's you've seen it against Wales when we scored the goal we shut up shop from then on I think yeah, he wanted to bring on Whelan be on that long. yeah neither do I but I think he's going to bring on Whelan early if we are ahead he's going to bring him on he's going to have an extra well he's not minor he's in the county so I don't know if he will yeah we'll see it's one of those you kind of look at going, you know, it, and it'll depend because McCarthy could pull up with a hamstring injury between now and the playoffs. Touch, you, you is there any wood? Yeah. Touch wood. I did it for you. But, uh, Cheers. Yeah, we don't need, <laughs> the last thing we need is an injury in that position. Yeah. To either Whelan or McCarthy because we're leaving ourselves really light without Myler there. Then. Yeah. And who are in it, like, he isn't going to be one to sit deep. No, the only other one that could possibly do it is Alan Brown. He's in yeah. the squad for Preston but Brown's more of a he likes to get up and down the field. Um, he can sit deep, but he likes to go up and down. People who watched Cork when he was there will know how effective he is going up and down the pitch. People who watch Preston will know how good a footballer he is. Yeah. Um, and he's another one who is a lad who is going to be around the squad for a long time um, because he will be a consistent championship player. He'll probably get into the Premier League at some point, especially if Preston were to get up there or something. That'd be great. But, yeah. So like, he's, lads, yeah. He's, a player to be, he's a player to watch and hopefully... He makes the final cut and maybe he's the wild card within it because it's a weird inclusion for him to be in the squad but I guess it's more because he's going to have to carry another midfielder apart from Myler for the first game. Do you think that maybe the reason he's in there is that if this does happen to Ward and Brady gets shipped back that he's going to use you're going to have to use Horahan as the as the spark? Maybe. And then you have because to be Wes able. is going to play both games. I don't think Wes is going to play either game. I don't think he'll start either game. I think you'll see him at some point, part, obviously. But some point. Yeah, I don't think you'll start either. I think the three you'll see are going to be Brady McLean and Murphy with probably Arthur Hendrick and McCarthy, McCarthy in the first game. Yeah. And maybe if McCarthy has a good game and we're ahead, or 
were in it, you probably see Myler, McCarthy, and then one of Hendrick or Arthur, probably Hendrick. Yeah, um, because he's the most offensive of the yeah. three, so it would make sense. If he yeah, was, like the spearhead. Yeah, exactly. And that's the way we we kind of play in a four three three now, and that's why when I was saying about you know midfield, as I was uh, looking at midfield now as a as a trio more so yeah. than I would. Wouldn't <coughs> include uh, Brady or McLean in a no. winger, or sorry, in a midfield. I think I meant them as wingers, but anyway, sure. uh, I suppose we'd have to move up front. And yeah. I don't know what. There's nothing Maybe. else. There was nothing else there to bring in realistically. Well, Obviously, Walters isn't fit, so he's bought. He's bought our best strikers available. Yeah, essentially, which is a sorry state of affairs, realistically, isn't it? Well, Sean McGuire has been doing well. He came off with an injury. Is he, is yeah. he back training now? You know? I think so. I think he was on the It was just a knock. Yeah, it wasn't that serious. Well, that's good. But still, I don't agree with what he did to him against uh, Moldova. Yeah. I th- it was just so late in the game. You want him getting a little bit of international experience. So yeah. like if he does have to come on, he can make the difference. Well, you're so in control of that game as well. Bring him on with 25 minutes, half an hour to go. I said, I have 60 minutes for 2-0 up. Why not yeah. bring him on? That's why I said it. You can go back and check the video. Bring him on. Even bring on O'Brien or something. Like Hogan. And just bring them on. Give them a bit of game time. I don't because, think O'Brien will get, will get the nod. Because what, what would happen to... What would happen if Murphy and Long were both injured at the same time? Or about sus- one was suspended and one was injured? Yeah. What would happen then? Yeah, are we going to David McGoldrick? Which is not a good option. Or are, I think, you going I think, to, or are you going to Shawnee or Scott Hogan? Do you think Shawnee's the most likely of them? Do you think Long's going to get dropped? I don't think he'll start. I don't think he'll start in Copenhagen because he'll be as defensive as we were against Wales. So Murphy. So Murphy. Murphy Just does. make it stick. Yeah, and then after an hour, you've got the pace and the power of Shane Long to come off the bench. And that's where Long's always been most effective for Ireland. He's in those games, if we're still in them, suddenly you bring off Murphy, you bring on Long... It's a completely different dynamic. You're going from a lad who is battering you in the air for 60, 65 minutes to a lad who's going to go behind you. So, yeah. And that's one of them ones where the ball goes behind, Long gets it, gets it under his feet, and he scores one. And all of a sudden, then O'Neill has a real dilemma on his hands, and it's the dilemma you want. It's You've got the solidity of Murphy who just stuff can stick to him up there sometimes, but if worse comes to it, he's just he's a nuisance up there. Um, and the way we play, especially when we're playing deep, Playing the balls long, Murphy's perfect to win the headers. Yeah, of course. It's like Noel Quinn and, dare I say it, Robbie Keane, but he can't score. <laughs> yeah, Robbie Keane without any scoring ability yeah. whatsoever. But yeah, I think I think you'll see a very... You'll probably see the team that started in Cardiff um, yeah, with, yeah. with McCarthy in for Myler, yeah. um, realistically. I think that I think would be... Yeah. Wheeling, I think he'll I go McCarthy once. I wouldn't really team. argue with that team too much. Yeah. The only thing is, I, don't, I think we're better when we're actually go at teams... Whereas, uh, and you know, if we can't go at them straight away, because if we do, we could be 3 0 down within. Yeah, I'd, ra- I would, you know. I'd be happy enough to go to Copenhagen and draw nil all. No. I'd be happy no. enough to have to come back here. 1 1. I want us to get yeah. an away goal. Get the goal, I guess. We need an away goal, and that's essential. I'd, once, we only have to co- once we only have to come to Dublin and win. Imagine that's, we go there and get 1 0. Yeah. That's that's a thing, well, then, we'll, we'll talk about that in our preview. Yeah. But. I think he said, look, in general, the squad is what the squad was going to be. Um, Brown was obviously a surprising inclusion. Doherty was a welcome surprise. And Paul McShane was, like, looking at puke on a page. Yeah. But, I'd, look, this it's not going to really change what the starting 11 is realistically, is it? So, yeah. Um, it's good to see some of the names in the squad. It's good to see a couple of the younger names in the squad. Jim McGuire... I um, really, I just really want to see who are him play. Yeah, he's in great form. I think he deserves, even if it's off the bench or something like that, he can be a spark. He's yeah. been a spark for Villa all season. One to a left foot. Yeah, been a spark for Villa all season. He's been the most, Villa's most important player. you got another assist this weekend. Yeah, Villa's most important player all year. Yeah. So at some point he needs to get a look because there has to be an evolution and there has to be an evolution in the squad where we're not going, oh, this fella's a cert, this fella's a cert, this fella's a cert anymore to be backup options. Definitely. You can have fellas who are certs to be starters, but the backup options they need to change and they need to become younger. That that this squad needs to become younger. Absolutely. Because it's aging. Yeah. And after this campaign, whether we go to the World Cup or we don't go to the World Cup, the squad after that needs to look very different. 
because these lads are going to be another year older. Okay, like hundred percent. Uh, totally agree with you. Yeah. I think uh, we've said uh, as much as we can on, on yeah. the matter. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Um, if you feel like there was a player in the squad or that isn't in the squad, so rather, um, let us know in the comments uh, if you agree with what Steve says. Um, also, uh, in the comments, hashtag Justice for Enda. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching <laughs> Irish Football Fan TV. Have a great day. <laughs>